When I arrived to Myanmar, I thought that I will spend about a week here and then I keep going to India, Bangladesh and Nepal. But on the first morning when I woke up in Yangon, I read the news that India shut down the borders and a little bit later Myanmar did it too. That happened around the middle of March and now May already started and I'm still in Myanmar. I spent the entire April in a town called Kalaf which looks more or less like this and I'm pretty sure that I will spend the next few weeks here as well that's because they keep extending the lockdown the deadline right now is 15th of March which is still two weeks away but they will keep extending it anyway How to eu? How to eu? I was in Yangon at the end of March and I was going to stay there for a longer period, so I went to the immigration department to extend my visa, but they needed a recommendation letter from the embassy of my country. But my country only has a honorary consulate, so I called them and they asked me if I want to fly home. I said no, I only want to extend my visa. And then the woman said that she owns a hotel in the town called Kalav and I can stay there for free if I want to. And I wanted to, so I took a bus to Kalav on the 1st of April. It's 5 a.m. And my bus arrived to Kalav and I'm walking to the hotel. And that's the building. Let's see if they are open. And I got a room with a little balcony and also a private bathroom with bathtub and that's where I'm staying nowadays for already about one and a half months. And I'm really glad actually that I came here to Kalav, it's a quiet town, 1300 meters above sea level and spending here these coronavirus times is relatively convenient. The transport between cities was cancelled but the lockdown inside of Kalav is not strict, I can walk down to the city or hike around the surrounding hills as much as I want to. The locals were afraid at first because they thought that foreigners are spreading the virus but then they got used to me and to the other Hungarian man, the one that I met in the last episode. We met again after I arrived to Kalav, so there are two Hungarians in Kalav now. The local people seem to be really kind here but their English is very bad so it's hard to communicate with them. So this Hungarian man is pretty much the only person here I talk to, which is fine, definitely better than nothing. What? Yes, I'm using a microphone to increase the sound quality and I also read the text from a script. That's because I realized that I'm horrible at improvising the stuff that I want to say. I hope that this new method increases your user experience. Cut to the Kalav montage. Music gets louder. I can do that.
The hotel opened to the public on the 1st of June. The owner, who is also the Hungarian consulate, visited us and organized an opening party for the staff. And also a third Hungarian man arrived with her to the hotel, who lives in Myanmar as an English teacher. So there were three Hungarian refugees waiting for the Yangon International Airport to open. Today is the 30th of June and yesterday they just extended the suspension of the international flights until the 31st of July. Which means my visa will expire and I need to go to Yangon to extend it. So tomorrow after three months in Kalav, I'm leaving the Kalav Princess Hotel 